Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of March general forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you. So Capricorn, I'm going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. Could be love, could be, could be general. We're going to take whatever energies come out here and whatever the message are, the messages that are most needed for you. So please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Um, this can be past, present, or future. And uh, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, if you have Capricorn in those placements. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn, at this time. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull a Zodiac card so we get a planet, element, or sign. See how some of you may have may resonate with that. If not, totally fine. We'll pull an um, opening message for you from this Oracle deck. And then another one for your energy at this time. And we'll clarify that energy with the Tarot. Whatever the situation comes out, we'll look at that situation. After we clarify the energy of why you're in that energy, what the situation is, advice, and possible outcome. And we'll get some closing messages from the Healing Fairies. And then I have a new deck here. Um, it's not really a deck. They're cards. They're prayer cards, or you can call them affirmation cards. I actually got them at the Dollar Tree, and I bought two, and I combined them together. So I thought it'd be kind of neat just to pull one at the end as sort of like an affirmation or a little prayer for you at the end of your reading. So you could stay uh, for that. So Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Let's see if we get a sign, element, or planet for you at this time. And I do say at this time, I consider all my readings timeless. Links are below in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for a personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that information is down below in the description box, as well as pin to the top comment. If you're not comfortable with PayPal, if you'd like to... Uh, tip or energy exchange during the premiere only super chat is open for energy exchanges and donations if you choose to do that and if you do thank you all right so capricorn let's see capricorn all right i'm going to take that one so we have cancer so you could have a cancer around you in some way shape or form friend family co-worker lover it could be anybody or maybe you have cancer in your chart um, if you don't know anybody that's Cancer, that is totally fine. But the Cancer in the Tarot of the Major Arcana does represent uh, the Chariot. And that's about positive movement forward. So we'll see how that affects your reading. All right, so let's see what we get for you. Opening message. Remember, it could be anything here. We're going to take the energies as it comes. This is a general reading for the collective. It's not a uh, personal reading. So it could be love. It could be general. It could be work, career, finance. Whatever comes out here. So let's get an opening message for you. Capricorn, spirit please. What is the message most needed for Capricorn at this time for this reading? Feeling that one. And we have six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So this is the six of cups energy. And that's water energy. And that's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So... The Six of Cups energy is about maybe some of you re need to reconnect with your uh, family and friends of the past, or this is thinking finally back on your childhood, things of your childhood, maybe uh, going back to doing the things that you used to love to do as a child. Um, this could also talk of a soulmate relationship from the past or someone you've been with for a very, very long time, someone you've had past lives with. A soulmate can be anybody, a friend, a family, a co-worker, a lover, can be anybody. So this is talking about a soulmate relationship or things of the past or childhood memories, nostalgia, or re reconnecting with people from the past of some kind. So let's see why that is here. Let's see what your... Now this came out in your pre-shuffle. Pre I saw this. And we have the Emperor here, <clears throat> which is Archangel Uriel. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So yeah, somebody taking, you're in the energy here of taking the lead, control, charge um, <clears throat> of some sort of situation. I just want to say that I did have the flu about a month ago, and I still have a lingering cough and a little bit of congestion that just I can't seem to shake for some reason. I don't know if it's allergies now or something else. So if I do cough periodically, through the reading, I just want to apologize in advance. So please bear with me and be patient and understanding. I would really appreciate that. Any negative comments will be deleted. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have a leap of faith here. Wow. 
a new beginning. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. This is taking a leap of faith. Resetting, restarting at zero. Jumping right in with both feet. And trusting everything will be fine. And having a new start of some kind. Because you take that leap of faith into a new beginning. So you're taking charge of something here. And taking that leap of faith into a new beginning. And it could have to do with a soulmate. It could have to do with something from your past. Something from childhood. Um, maybe taking a leap of, leap of faith and reconnecting with people from your past here. So we'll see how this comes out. It, it may be a love reading. It may not. So let's see what we get here for Capricorn. Let's clarify this energy for you, Capricorn. So I want to say thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel in any way. Thank you. Thank you. As a uh, thank you to reaching 10,000 subscribers, I am having a giveaway where you can win a tarot deck and a free 20 minute, 20 minute reading of your choice by me. And if you would like to enter the giveaway, it's open through March. Check the description box for that information and the pinned top comment will have all the info you need on how to enter the giveaway. And if you do, thank you and good luck. All right, Capricorn, let's clarify this energy for you. Why is the Emperor here with the Six of Cups and the Leap of Faith? Wow. So we have Justice and the Five of Cups. So Justice here could speak of legal matters or something in the judicial system, but it doesn't have to be. But this is about getting justice in your life or wanting justice, giving, receiving justice, things balancing out, truth and clarity. But we have Five of Cups here. It's about some kind of loss. There could have been some kind of loss now, maybe there was some kind of loss, but somehow you got justice in a situation and now you're able to take a leap of faith. So it could have been some sort of court matters. Maybe you were waiting on a settlement. Maybe Six of Cups energy had to do with a past person or somebody you were connected to a very long time, a friend, a family, co-worker that you've knew, known for ages here. And maybe there was some kind of loss, but justice came in and now you could take control to take a new leap of faith. So we'll see how this plays out. Let's get a few more to clarify this energy for you, Capricorn. And there's that water energy again. So now we have the five and the six of cups. Five, or it could be that you are sad without a certain person. And now you're ready to get justice back into the connection. So ready to take charge, to take that leap of faith and reconnect with a soulmate. So different meanings here. So let's see, I guess, whatever... Um, situation fits you so let's clarify let's get more let's clarify justice and six of pentacles so things balancing out and this is like the minor of the justice card wow i can't make that up so things balancing out here some sort of justice you were getting justice or giving justice or something here now things are right it could be a work situation uh here so now we have very fiery, passionate action, travel, communication, quick paced. Nine of swords, so stress, worry, fear, anxiety, uh, nervous energy about this situation. Let's get one more, one more for you, Capricorn. What is this all about? Three cups are reuniting, celebrating. So I feel like for some of you, you were stressed and worried about commu communication coming in. About some sort of loss and things going in your favor you were worried about something going in your favor after some kind of loss it could have been something that had actually went to the court system but things finally come in and go in your favor and balance out the six of pentacles so it cause for celebration here with the three of cups now it could have been something legal it could have been a person maybe you, you were hoping to reconnect with a person and there's been the reconnection, there's been the communication, the balancing out, nervous about it, and now coming together, Three of Cups, my reuniting kind of card, going out, celebrating, having a good time, having a drink, or whatever here. Now this cause for celebration, it could be with the past person here. Taking that leap of faith, taking charge. All right, so let's get the actual situation for you. Capricorn. Actual situation for Capricorn spirit, please. Thank you so much. Let's see. I'll go over the signs at the end of the reading. So we have the seven of wands. Being a little defensive on guard or fighting for something. Four of swords. 
healing. Yeah, so there could have been something here that you were fighting for for a very long time. Seemed like ages, maybe, with the Six of Cups energy. And finally, like I said, it comes in for you where you get that justice in the communication. And now you're celebrating, but it's been a, something you really had to fight for. And now you can just relax and rest up and heal your energy from the situation. All right, what else? For Capricorn, Five of Swords, energy right in the middle here. A lot of swords now coming out, which is all about the mind, truth, clarity, communication. <coughs> and this big sword in the five always reminds me of the Ace of Swords, but this Five of Swords, uh, that is about, you know, do I give up? Or do I keep fighting on, do what I need to do to win? So you may have felt that energy where, okay, this is taking forever and you've been fighting and fighting and fighting. And at times you might've felt like, oh, I just want to give up. Maybe it's not worth it. And at times you felt like I'm going to win no matter what, because I deserve this. Because sometimes the five of swords can be a bad energy or it could be a good energy. You know, getting what you deserve or want no matter what. And that can also be a bad energy of I'm going to get ahead no matter how I do it. And I don't care who I hurt. Or what I have to do. But I'm not really getting that energy. So let's see here. So what? I cannot make this. <laughs> Did I not just say you saw me shuffle that sword in the five of swords? Reminds me of the ace of swords. And look what just came out. Wow. So this is the mental clarity. A brand new successful victorious beginning here. That's en enabling you to take the lead, take control, take charge of this new leap of faith. And there's your successful, victorious new beginning based on truth and clarity. Now cutting away things no longer serving you. Standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is. Epiphany, aha moment. Here it is. Four of Pentacles. So, you know, holding on. I feel like if you did get a settlement or something like that, this is you now regaining your stability and your foundation back. Now holding on and not letting go kind of energy. But some of you, I feel like it is something that maybe you had to fight for or a settlement or maybe even had to go to court for or something. If not, um, I mean, it could be a person, but we're getting a lot of swords and pentacles here. Uh, so whatever it is for you, things are finally coming in for you, balancing out regaining your stability in, a, in the situation, having a new successful new beginning on based on clarity and truth. You fought for it, and now you can rest and recover from this that you have to fight for. You did what you had to do to have the successful new beginning, and now your stability in a situation is back, whether it's your career, um, something legal, or a person. Wow, okay. So, let's get advice for you, Capricorn, Knight of Wands. So, go, moving forward now, a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So, it's just telling you to keep moving forward. Don't stop with drive, ambition, and passion. Don't lose that fire. All right. What else for the advice for Capricorn? Strength. And I did see this just a few minutes ago on the bottom of the deck. And Spirit kind of told me to show it, and I didn't, so they gave it to me. So this is having your strength, your courage, your bravery, your willpower, um, determination, taming the beast from within, energy. And now the King of Pentacles. Some of you here, I feel like, and that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I feel like now getting whatever what was uh, owed to you, now it could be something monetary. It could be... Um, but something that was a material or monetary, whatever was owed to you, now you have it in your hands and now it's yours. So if you're waiting on something, I do see here is to be strong, keep fighting, keep moving on, don't stop because you will have this in your hand here. It's just in your grasp. All right, so one more for Capricorn, the advice. High Priestess. So yeah, this is an energy of, you know, Maybe just to keep quiet about the situation, don't like tell a lot of people because listen to your intuition about that, your gut and your intuition about this. 
and maybe it may not be a good idea to tell everybody what's going on or whatever, you know, social media, just in general, whatever here, it's kind of keep the energy to yourself and listen to your intuition kind of energy. And maybe you intuitively know things are going in your favor. But I think Spirit wants you to know don't boast about it either. Um, it's just kind of lay low, do what you're doing, keep quiet, and stay strong and passionate and moving on. Don't stop. King or Queen of Pentacles doesn't matter. You can be male or female watching this. So let's see what the possible outcome is for you, Capricorn, in this situation, whatever it is for you. The tower. So yeah, there could have been something that caused this whole thing to happen. Could have been a tower moment. A shake up, break up, break down, uh, something explosive, a fight, argument, or something disruptive, something uh, not in a good energy. All right, let's see. Let's get two more. And this could be like a surprise or an aha moment or epiphany. Doesn't necessarily have to be something bad with the tower. Wow. So <laughs> now we have the queen of pentacles. So we have the king or queen of pentacles. So some of you are reuniting with a person, a soulmate. This is your soulmate because now we have two, we have a matching couple, king and queen of pentacles. And now we have the wheel of fortune. So things going in a better direction, things going in your favor, fate, destiny, timing. It could be actually monetary, material things coming in with the wheel of fortune. So could be the, you know, you get the surprise here. And now again, the queen, king or queen, you have that in your hand. Things going in your favor. So whatever this is, it's going in your favor. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of cups. So there you go. Total peace, happiness, joy, love, fulfillment in every single way. Feeling content. Three of wands. Yeah, waiting for this. Waiting for something. Feeling unsure, unbalanced, whether or not this is going to come in, juggling things around. But now we have sun, total happiness, joy, victory, success, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family. Everything in life positive with the sun. Everything. Ten of swords. Uh, hangman. So feeling like things might be over, like maybe this is never going to happen. Maybe it's done. Things taking a very long time. On pause here with the hangman in limbo. But now here comes, for some of you, the love offer coming in. Love moving forward after a period of being left out in the cold. And that or the monetary lack. And if it's monetary, here is that coming in for you. And here's faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy, healing energy. And going off in a much better place here with the Six of Swords. Traveling into a much better place to peace, harmony, and uh leaving all the troubles behind. So we have Aquarius, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Leo. And let's see, we have Libra. We have um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries or Scorpio. So those are the other uh, energies I see but just besides uh, Cancer over here, Leap of Faith. That's Aquarius again. So, wow. So what, <clears throat> whatever it is here, Capricorn, things are definitely going in your favor no matter what it is for you in life. If you're waiting on something, it will be going in your favor or it has. Again, this can be past, present, or future energy. And I do ask uh, Capricorn, if you're new and you like my energy, my style, the way I read, please feel free to check out my channel. If you like what you see, uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Right now, I'm doing about four or five readings a month to love, to general, and a bonus. I may be switching that up. But if you go to the community section on my channel, I have two polls I would like everyone to participate in. It would give me better clarity on what kind of readings you would like to see per month. And also I have been thinking about doing extendeds on Vimeo at a small price. So those two polls, please go participate and vote. And uh, it'll give me better clarity on what you would like to see or would like me to do. All right, Capricorn, let's get some closing messages with this deck with the Healing Fairies. For your Capricorn and whatever your situation is here, things definitely going in your favor and don't stop. 
Yeah, kick up your heels, exactly. This is telling you, kick up your heels. Don't stop, keep going, keep moving forward. There's the rainbow for luck, happiness, and joy. So don't stop. Whatever you're doing, keep kicking up your heels. Don't stop. Okay, let's see if there's any other messages for Capricorn. And I feel like, too, that could be celebrating. Also, once this comes in for you, kicking up your heels and going out and celebrating. So we do have sexuality here. So, so for some of you, this could be a, um, a soulmate connection with the king and queen pentacles here and the sun is usually my soulmate twin flame card also and uh very strong bond too for some of you and maybe sharing some you know time together with the sexuality card here all right so let's see different messages whatever resonates for you what else oh, we got two moving forward fearlessly again to keep moving forward and don't stop and don't let this fear stress and anxiety hold you back and rise above problems. So things will be going in your favor and you will be rising above these problems, Capricorn, whatever they are for you. Let's see what's on the bottom. We have detoxification. So, you know, this is about either actually detoxifying your mind, body, and soul or deto detoxifying people and places and things around you that are no longer serving you. So that may be a message for some of you. So let's get a closing prayer or affirmation however you want to call it for you, Capricorn. Let's see what these have to say. Closing affirmation. A little stiff. Prayer for Capricorn. Let's get a closing affirmation. There we go. So this is the back. Today's prayer. For nothing will be impossible with God. So yeah, just know that <laughs> nothing is impossible here. Whatever you think may not happen, you may think, oh, this is impossible, it'll never happen, that it can be possible. Nothing is impossible. So, all right, Capricorn, so best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and um, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and I always say is to always, always shine your light.